Hey everybody, Edo here, and this is Cardline Animals by Frederick Henry and published by Asmodee Games. Without a doubt, if you have a family, go buy this game. It is just absolutely fantastic to play with your kids. Um, and, you know, Timeline's great too. This is similar to the Timeline series, but a little bit different. Timeline is great, but this one really lets everyone play together um, with general knowledge, and it's just outstanding. Uh, a wonderful, simple mechanic, which is each player is going to have uh, five cards, and on the front of the cards, you just have the animals and the animals' names, and the art is just outstanding. Um, but on the back of the cards, which you don't have access to, you know, they're, they're face down, you have the length of the animal, the weight of the animal, and the lifespan of the animal. So to start the game, you're going to pick one and say it's a uh, weight. So I have this uh, walrus, and it's 1.4 tons. Heavy guy. So then the player's going to look at their hands, and you're, you're going around in a circle, uh, and look. In my hand, I have a crocodile, a gorilla, a whale, blue, a sperm whale, and uh, the red squirrel. And so what I need to do is determine whether or not this animal is lighter or heavier than the walrus. And let's say lighter is on this side, heavier is on that side. And I don't know, a gorilla might be a close, but probably not. I know a whale is going to weigh more than a walrus, at least I think it does. But I don't know, if I want to be easy, I bet you the squirrel is lighter. So then I play the squirrel, I reveal. If it's correct, it stays in line. If it's in, And I reduce my, cards by, uh, my hand by a card. If it's incorrect, it doesn't go in the line, and I draw a new card. So objective of the game, be the first without any cards. So now the next player goes, and they have a different set of cards, obviously, but um, now they might need to say, well, I've got the, uh, I've got a, a eagle owl, a gray, woo, a gray wolf, a dog, a tawny owl, <laughs> this is a tough hand, and a king cobra. Well, you know, I, I don't know which is heavier, a cobra or a squirrel. I'm going to guess a cobra, but I would probably say, well, I know a gray wolf has got to be less than a walrus and more than a squirrel, so I'm going to guess it's in the middle. Uh, and it's 84 pounds, and I got it correct. Oh, and the squirrel, for the, those curious, is 10.6 ounces. But so, as you play and as you go around, uh, there's more information, but the ranges get more and more challenging, right? So early on, it's easy to get your cards, but as there's a full set, you might be looking at, does this animal, is this animal between 60 and 80 pounds, or is it between 80 and 100 pounds? And suddenly, it's not so easy. There's a lot of just... Unlike Timeline, which requires you to really know when something was invented or sort of try to figure it out, people can sort of think about animals' lengths, they can think about weight. Uh, the lifespan's really tricky on this one, um, but really fun and interesting. So it's just, it's great. Play with Evan and Ethan and Emily all the time, um, and it's so satisfying to play a game where everyone at all ages are just really level on an information game. It's super unique. It is super unique to be like thinking about data, or not data, like weight and, and numbers and, and lifespan, and really everyone's sort of having the same knowledge base. I mean, I guess if one of, you know, if one of the family members is a zoologist, it wouldn't be fair, but just generally speaking, it works. So I just highly recommend this. I recommend Timeline too, but this is a great starting point if you have kids, younger kids. Uh, but with adults, it's, it's just as fun, honestly. So um, check it out, subscribe, share all that good stuff. More importantly, play some great games. Thanks.